Hello guys, my name is JP. Welcome back to Game Dev Tycoon. I, almost, I keep wanting to call it Space Dev Ty Tycoon Tycoon. Anyways, let's get back to action. We are here. Hopefully not in our mom's basement. Looks more like a garage because there's a car in it. Well, that's... This isn't right. Hold on. Wrong save file. My bad. Why is there two different... Okay, this is the other one. Right? Right, yeah. That was confusing. I apparently I named two files the same thing and it loaded the wrong one. Okay, that's what we did last. We just made and finished selling SimCity. Let's uh let's see how it did. Cause I don't remember. <laughs> like I said, I only play this specifically like once a week or so. SimCity had a SimCity two thousand had a eight point two five. Hell, our horror action game was pretty bad with 6.25. Flight was alright with 8. 7.25 for Sim City. 8.25 for Sim Tycoon. So we'll probably do another one of those, maybe. Or I can branch out while it's easy. Because later on, when you want to make a game, it gets kind of difficult. Like, just early on, it's pretty easy to make any game. I can make anything with these. And they'll do at least a six. Easy. So I'm gonna go ahead and make another business tycoon one. Hmm. Hold on, let me see the potential here. A horror strategy game. I don't know what I would call that. Diablo. Diablo something. Diablo what? Hmm. I... I don't know. Diablo Wars. Seems about right. Something kind of like Halo Wars, but with Diablo. Pretty much the reverse of, uh, the way World of Warcraft been started as a strategy game. Now it's, uh, a stupid online RPG that won't go away. Alright, uh, it's a strategy game, so we don't need stuff like a story or anything. Let's stick to the usual. Low design, artificial intelligence is always important in a a strategy game. If your AI is running in circles while you're just nuking it, it's you're not doing you did not make a good game. World design does need some though. Right? Well, yeah, let's leave it up. Nobody cares about your crappy monochrome handheld game system. Not that the Game Boy was crap, it's just, well, it wasn't that great even when it was around. I don't know why people were so excited about it for so many years in different variations. Move it up on the 2D graphics. This is gonna be bad. It's either gonna be bad or it's gonna be amazing. Okay, it's pretty bad. We bombed this one. Oh, somebody liked it. That's a first. Let's go ahead and uh, make the game report on it. It was a 5, apparently. Somehow all those random numbers in it end up be averaging to five. Well, we're still gaining fans for a bad game. Horror and strategy is a bad combination. Okay. Yeah, I kind of figured as much. I was hoping for something. Maybe it was. I hope it was. I hoped it was maybe gonna work, but no dice. Let's we gotta get some new topics or something, cause this is make a wildest action game, I guess. That's my problem. It started me out with some pretty lame ones. It gave me some that actually worked with simulation for once, like uh business and airplane, but 
I've had some pretty bad starts recently with this game. I've tried, I've tried, I've tried a few different files just to see if there was like, uh, see how random it was, and it's, it's pretty random with the starting topics. Uh, just call it gun. How do you spell sheriff? Is it one F or two Fs? Or is it one R? That looks right. Uh, action game. All of us action game. That seems pretty legit. Although, I don't know about those graphics. It's gonna look like crap. Well, that game only made $89,000. How much did I spend on it? I wanna see. I'll, I'll go back and check it in a second. I can give it a linear story. I wanna see if that game even made money. Game history. It actually managed to make $38,000, so... Just barely. I don't know if that includes the amount of time it took to make it. Like, uh, I have the, the monthly... Monthly watch, whatchamacallits. I think it's like $8,000 a month or I'm just... I have to pay. So I wonder if it covered that. The amount of time spent to make the game, not just the, not just the physical cost of the game, because I think if it didn't, I most likely lost money on that game. All right, let's see if this is going to be any good. Come on, finish. No, not that great. My stuff is leveling up. I don't know what this actually does. The leveling up of the stuff. Does it just unlock more things for the engines? I think it does. I don't want to see how bad this is going to be. Oh my god, it's impossible to make a good game with with what I have right now. It's so stupid. So, five and a half. Another bad game. Let's... Hold on, I need to do a game report for this. This is just nightmarish. I cannot win! Yeah, if I have one more one million in cash, that's not gonna happen anytime soon. Nah, eh, it's a better con a better handheld console, but still I don't care. Go go away. Try to make it all dramatic. Apparently Coca Cola is already trying to give away uh Christmas spectacular prizes. Please note that it is September when I'm recording this. Late September, but September nonetheless. So, I think uh, the companies have gone full beanbag. It's beanbags are my kind of inside joke. Uh, I have a... Uh, my girlfriend has a, a pet, a stuffed beanbag dog. I call it a beanbag dog because it's paws or are bean bags. And it's uh it's kind of old so it's kind of noodly, it's appendages. So when it flails around it like it looks like ridiculous retarded, so I call it uh going full bean bag. Well I'm explaining this during game dev I could just ignore me, just mute the game and, and watch me fail. Or mute yeah, mute the video and watch me fail. I'll make one last thing here. Uh, virtual pet simulation. Uh, virtual dog. Or I'll just call it sim dog, that sounds a little better. Sim dog. Platform. PC. So make everything for PC because it's cheap. And we'll do that. And we'll get through this, uh, this game here. And uh, that'll be the episode, so I'll be calling it very soon. Because these, these early games are so easy and quick to make.
Alright, we don't need dialogue in a in a pet simulation. That'd be kinda weird. Dog starts talking to you. Uh, world design. I think we don't need we didn't need world design very much in a simulation, right? That doesn't sound right. Just gonna leave it up. Quit head scratching, make the damn game. Yeah, idiot. Another crappy game because the guy started head scratching. All right, let's finish it up. Let's get this atrocity unto mankind released to the public. Oh, a new record on the set now. That's good, I guess. Level editor. Probably make a new engine soon. I no, I saw that coming. I'm not stupid. Again, stop trying to make it dramatic. It's just a crappy computer. Sim Dog is also a bad game, apparently. Slightly better than my last bad game, but still a pretty bad game. Oh, okay. Anyways, that'll do it for the episode. My name is JP. Thank you for watching and putting up with my weird story about a beanbag dog. I'll see you next time with more Game Dev Tycoon.